Hey guys, today we're going to be continuing on with our pantry challenge and you guys rock it. Let me tell you that. Um, so many of you are already are doing a month challenge, which is awesome. I hated to say a month because I'm thinking people are going to think I'm crazy a month. Really? I know I use my pantry a lot. You can see there's a lot of blank spaces I haven't filled in yet. But today we're going to be talking about this section right here, mainly that right there. This is my fruits and my jams and jellies. So today let's talk about jams and jellies. What can you do with jams and jellies? Okay. Blueberry. I made this in January of 18, so it's a year old already, really. Um, we have some down in the cellar that's even as far back as 14, I believe. Might have a few jars of 13, but mostly 14. When Danny and I married, it was in 2013. And I came out here in the spring, and everything was budding. There was flowers everywhere, and there was fruit being put on trees, and I was just ecstatic. And so in 2013, my canning instincts kicked in. I hadn't canned in probably six, seven, eight years when I came out here. And all I wanted to do was can, and we didn't have a garden. So I canned fruit. I did blueberries, blackberries, huckleberries, strawberries, mulberries, all these things. Then I turned around and did um, peaches, pears, apples, figs. We just had an abundance of fruit. So I made all kinds of stuff. You can open a jar and eat it. It's all done. It's all ready. But what can you do with jams and jellies was what we were going to talk about today. What we usually do with them, if you ask anybody, you spread it on toast, you put it in a biscuit, right? Let's get a little inventive. Let's think of something else. Real quick, we're going to talk about 10 different ways to use jams and jellies. Of course, the biscuit, you know that, are on toast. But you can also put a spoonful or two of jelly in your biscuit dough and cook it and give your biscuit a flavor. Or, if you make French toast, you can mix it in with the, the batter uh, that you dip your toast in and have that or add it on top, whichever one. Different, right? How about adding it to yogurt? You make your own fruit yogurt. Isn't that pretty awesome? You can add it to barbecue sauce. Uh, what about when you're making gravy? And some people call it pan sauce. We call it gravy. When you're browning your meat and you want to make a little bit of gravy out of that, add a spoonful of jams or jellies to it and it gives it a touch of a sweet taste and oh my goodness. What about making a glaze for meats like pork chops or chicken? Just melt a little bit of that jelly in with a touch of water or a touch of lemon and glaze it over your pork chops or your chicken or your roast or whatever. It's got to be good, right? How about making popsicles? All kids love popsicles. You thin it down just a touch, put it in a popsicle maker, freeze it. And then again, there's the fruit roll-ups. One way to get kids to eat a lot of jelly. Again, make it a touch liquidy, not much. Pour it on your dehydrator trays. Your sheets dehydrate when it gets through. Roll it up. Kids have their own fruit roll-ups. Another way is you can add it to your cocktails or your drinks or something like that. Or your smoothies. Um, and if you don't have fruit and you have jelly, drop a spoonful in there. It works really, really well. One way that my granny used to use jams and jellies was she made jelly cakes. And Y'all, I love jelly cakes. I'm going to tell you, jelly cakes are awesome. She would take just a plain yellow cake mix, but you can do any kind of cake mix you want. And she would do the round tier pans. And she would layer one on top of the other. And in between, she would put jelly. And on top, she'd put jelly. So we had jelly cakes. You can do jelly donuts. You can uh, fill the uh, cream puffs, anything with jelly. Um, I do popovers. Fill it full of jelly. 
Uh, cupcakes, hollow out a hole, fill it full of jelly. Pour the glaze over a cupcake, pour it over cakes. Uh, add it to ice creams. It's endless, guys. Use your jams and jellies for anything imaginable. So we're gonna continue on with the pantry challenge. You guys keep on keeping on, using your pantry as much as possible and eat the older stuff first. All this was my older stuff that we're trying to down and then I'm bringing up newer stuff so that we have empty jars. And you see, we do have empty jars. Plus, here I have empty jars. I've emptied all these on this side and, and most of them on the back side. That's two rows that I've emptied in the last um, probably three months, four months. Um, so be emptying those jars out, rotating your stash. There's no point in canning if you're not going to eat it. We just talked about several ways to use jellies and jams. Now, this is blueberry jam. I told you I was going to send someone a jelly or a jam, so I'm going to send them blueberry jam for participating in my pantry challenge, and it's going to be Grandma Cheap Cheap. So you have to get in touch with me via email um, at deepsouthhomestead at gmail.com and give me your address and I will send you a jelly. Well, actually jam, blueberry jam. You'll get one of those in the mail and probably a little something extra added in there. And you guys, anybody that's put up a video with uh, the pantry challenge in it, send me the link at deepsouthhomestead at gmail.com. Always uh, in the email, include your link to your channel or to the actual video would help. And that way I can go look at it. I can add it to my playlist. We've got a big playlist going on. And whatever you've done for the pantry challenge, hey, it's welcome in this playlist. So thank you guys. Continue on eating out of your pantry. And we'll talk about something else and how to cook it and what to do with it next time. Bye, guys.